Hello, this is the Hacker Triple Seven, and today I'm doing my first YouTube video on my new desktop computer. If you guys haven't seen my last video, which is an overview of this computer, you guys can go ahead and go in the description below and see it there, or you can go on my onto my channel and the background banner that a uh, my personal graphics designer made for me. There's a link there for it. And back to the tutorial, guys, or the review. Sorry. Today I'm doing a review on an online service called ThinkFree. Um, basically what this is, is an online web office uh, suite. So what it is, is basically you get to create an account and you get one gigabyte of online storage. This allows you to create online documents, um, things like PowerPoint presentations, doc files, and spreadsheet files. So what you can do is you can create these online files actually edit them online from anywhere and go anywhere else log in and view them and download them anything like that this is great for uh, things like school so what you can do is um, basically you can create your account at home you can do your work at school and then without having to bring it home on a flash drive or anything else you can go straight home and get it online, edit it some more, go back to school and it's been changed. Now the reason I like this service is because um, at, especially at my school we have some crappy computers and they're very slow and sometimes just opening open office takes a while. So being able to do it all on the internet makes it much more efficient. I will give you guys, give you guys a link to this uh, link right here where you guys can download the uh, not download, sorry. You guys can sign up for this uh, online service. If you have a Google account, um, you can basically, if you're a subscriber to me, you can use your YouTube account to um, create your account here. If not, just go to sign up and you can go here like this, create your ID, get your password, verify, and security code. Um, now make sure guys when you do the security code that is all one all uh, one word you guys can see I had a bunch of different tries but it didn't work till I actually put all of them together so uh, this is basically all one um, word I guess you could say so I have went ahead and already created an account and logged in uh, once you have created your account it will send you a email activation so you click, click the link I'll bring you to this so this is my new new uh, account you guys can see that I have changed my photo to my logo um, I just felt I just was playing around and it went there and you cannot revert to default so anyway so once you uh, have gotten here we have some information on the side so we can go to personal information and we can just see uh, stuff like that We can change our password, terminate our account if we don't want it. We have things like a contact list. Good thing with this service, guys, is you are actually allowed like product manager, so you can project manager, sorry. You can create um, files and allow other people to edit them. So we're not going to do that today, but we will, we'll be creating a document. So we're going to go to new document, and it's a basically an online app. So we'll. Uh, so there is no file to create or upload new files. So basically we're gonna go and we're gonna hit create a document. So you're gonna need Java. Um, I'm just gonna click run this time so it works. And you can click always trust this from this publisher, I'll click run. And then it will get going. So here we have our percentage. And it skips a little bit, obviously. So this whole web-based uh, app basically runs off of Java. So you will have to have Java installed on your computer. But most computers do have Java. Um, so you shouldn't need no problem there. So we're at 100% now, so we should have something coming up pretty soon. Alright, so here we go, guys. It looks very similar to Microsoft Office. So if you have used Microsoft Office before or OpenOffice, um, there shouldn't be take any uh, time to get used to. 
it looks like uh, Microsoft Word 2003 in my opinion. So you guys can see I'm just typing here. Um, we got it's pretty smooth. So um, a bit of a lag sometimes, but it's not too bad. You guys can see it's pretty good. So uh, we have all the tools that most of them have. Uh, you got things like oh okay not so good gotta be careful looks like so we got things like uh, spell check here we got the paste that feature uh, save to PDF print preview now once we're done guys we can go to uh, save as which is also F12 in your keyboard so we'll go to uh, and you guys can see there's a bit of a lag, so but this may be because of my internet. There we go. So it looks like the normal uh, Microsoft Word. We can choose what uh, type of format we're saving it in. Go ahead, guys, and uh, give it a name. Click save, and there we go. So now we should be able to exit out here. And then click leave this page. And if we were to refresh our page here, we do have our test document. So for actions here, we have things like we can tweet it or do something tweeting. We can download it straight to our desktop. We can edit it, move it, copy, delete it, rename it, share it, publish it, give it more info. So for for example, guys, I will hit edit. You guys can see that basically reloads the whole thing over again. and we'll get our documents. We have the option to download it. So you guys can see I did download it right here. And I can open it. And there we go. So that, that, there's our uh, video for today. So that's what it for this video guys. I really do hope you guys like the video. Um, if you do, thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can leave a uh, comment in the description below. Otherwise, Feel free to check out this awesome online service. This is great for students and uh, people who have to bring stuff uh, from home and back to work. Anyways, guys, as always, have a great day. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for some more awesome tutorials. This is Hacker007, and I'm signing off.